amazing is if you spell out Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Jesuits. Again, April 19th, the same day. Okay, he became the leader of the Jesuits. If you spell out Ignatius of Loyola, it equals 201. If you write out the Jesuit order, it equals 201. We're in the time of the first Jesuit Pope right now, Pope Francis. His birth name is Jorge Mario Bergoglio. Spell out his name, it equals 201. He's also the first Pope to ever live in Sweet 201 at the Vatican. And if you look into the Jesuit history, they were saved by Catherine the Great in Russia. I can tell you all about what's going on in Russia right now with 201. The Don actually had a Biden and met Putin that 201 days. The Jesuits have their own calendar. The 201st day of the Jesuit calendar is Pearl Harbor Day. That's what they Biden and Putin met to discuss Ukraine. And the whole military conflict began in the Don Boss region with people 201. This is another story. But the point is, the Jesuits love this 201 number. Guess what Timothy McVeigh equals? 201. It sure does. Guess what Terry Lynn Nichols equals? 201. You know what a military personnel file is called? It's called a 201 file. The, the Jesuits are a military order. This is the Roman Catholic Church. Supposedly Timothy McVeigh didn't want to get caught, so what did he do? He went and drove on the freeway with a license plate, or a car with no license plate? But where does that make sense? From Texas to Oklahoma, I know there's a lot of... But anyway, he was in a Mercury Marquee. Want to guess what Mercury Marquee? No more. It sure does. <laughs> now, do you know when Timothy McVeigh was sentenced to death? He was sentenced to death June 13, 1997. That's the day that these 201 days left in the year. That's also the day in history that the military, uh, what do they call it? The, the military propaganda department was established June 1342. The day that these 201 days left in the year? By the way, the first ever use of the word propaganda in history is from the Catholic Church in 1622. They invented that word propaganda. But Timothy McVeigh was put to death three months before 9 11, on June 11. You know about Operation Amalgam Virgo? Look up Operation Amalgam Virgo when you get a chance. The federal government simulated Al Qaeda attacking the United States and the World Trade Center on June 1, 2001. 102 days before the attack, they say that was 102 minutes. Of course, 102 is the reflection of 201. It was called Operation Amalgam Virgo. <laughs> Operation Amalgam Virgo. The reason that name matters, Virgo is when 9 11 happened, right? September is Virgo, when the Virgin Mary's birthday is. An amalgam is a metal. And you mix it with mercury. An amalgam is a metal mixed with mercury. Virgo in astrology is ruled by the planet Mercury. Do you know what Mercury is in Roman mythology? It's the trickster. It's the chief of deception and trickery. The definition of Jesuitism in the 1800s, because a lot of people don't like the Jesuits, the whole definition in the original dictionary of this country of Jesuitism is trickery and deception. All right, you got my head spin. Time out. So you're here. They stopped you because they heard me. So rewind and tell me what what's your theory is that they stopped you. They don't want me to talk. They don't want me to what? So actually back there later and I got them to tell me a little bit more. They had a meeting knowing that I was coming into town. I'm a social media personality. I've had the feds come to my house. I mean they don't like what I do. They don't like the things that I expose. All the time. I, I keep creating new accounts. I've been banned so many times, it's ridiculous. I was very good. I don't know. I gotta be honest. I, I, I won't say that I don't believe in Jesus Christ. I definitely believe there's a creator. No, I won't say that I don't. I definitely agree that there's a creator. I think we're all God's children. We're all God's children. We're all God's children. But you don't think Christ can. You don't think Christ can. I think that's entirely possible. Okay. I just, I don't know for sure. I'm right. just being honest. I mean, who, who can know for sure, right? Right. So I, I'm just, I consider myself spiritual. I think we should all be here for our divine purpose. I'm about truth and justice. Just, I was raised Lutheran. I mean, I'm about the same things Jesus was about, honestly. Jesus was about truth and justice, right? That statue they have there, Jesus weeping with his back to it, I, to me it feels like a mockery. There's a lot more that I can tell you about this, but... So I'm sure you guys are all big Joe Biden fans. 10, right? Am I right? You guys are all big Joe Biden fans? <laughs> I'm joking. Do you remember? Yeah. Do you remember that Joe Biden's son, Bo Biden, died at 46? Do you remember this? Bo Biden died at 46 in 2015. 
that number, 201? He died exactly 201 days before the Pope's birthday. And let me tell you something, you can look this up. The president of Georgetown, Jesuit University, Leo Jeremiah O'Donovan, did the funeral for Bo Biden at 46 and the inauguration for Joe Biden. And what day is inauguration day? It's 20 slash 1, like 201. His name, Leo Jeremiah O'Donovan, you want to guess what it equals? Go on. Exactly. This, you know, He's ace for the test. Do you know that uh, when Joe Biden became senator elect in 72, you know what happened a couple weeks after he was elected? His wife and daughter died in the car They died on Limestone Road. I'll give you one guess on that. Do you know what the pyramids were made out of? Limestone. They're made out of limestone. Do you know how many layers are remaining of the bricks of the pyramids? Do you want to guess what Great Pyramid of Giza equals? So, 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 what is, okay, so, bring this all to, laser this down, focus this for us, four people in the bar, what are we supposed to, what are we supposed to, what are we, what's our takeaway? Well, that's, 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 that's the media personality, I gotta, I gotta be able to tell the story, but I gotta have them. It's got to have an impact. Go to, so, go to Gematria Effect News. What? Gematria Effect News on YouTube. Oh, yeah. That's and awesome. this guy's got about... It's the lead all the time, yeah, so you got to look for the new ones yeah. every month. But... Um, and you can learn all about this. How long you met? You, did you come from Seattle with him? He came from no, New York. No, I come from New York. So you met him here. We know yeah. each other through online. Yep. I got we, we all do the same, you know. We work towards the same purpose. See? That's his YouTube channel. Hi. Uh, well, his YouTube channel. Yeah, I mean that's a lot of that's a lot. He just he just threw down a lot of information on it. Yeah. Right? We were just saying, hey, yeah, I'll, turn, I'll turn that up. We're just saying, why is this guy got his speaker? Right? Exactly yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was met by uh, resistance the minute he walked in here. No, oh, that's nuts. When he walked over there, and then he didn't tell you, but uh, you find my books. He was out there again today. A guy in a black suit walks up to him, puts a Manila folder on his chest. And said here and walked away. He opens it up. He opens it up. Zach, tell him about your Manila envelope. So, a, a young man drove from Norman, Oklahoma. He goes to the college. He signs down there. So he drove. So I was having a conversation with a young man who's a college student. And while I was talking to him, another man just walked by. who's probably around 50 years old. But he put it into my chest and he said, Zach, this is for you or something like that. He gave me this Manila envelope. And I joked, he just walked by. I mean, he, didn't, he just put it into my yeah. chest and just walked by. And I joked to the young guys, I said, I have a feeling this isn't a donation. I don't think that was yeah. his order. Is it full of money? It says, I wish it was. It said, it Baker said, Mr. For Humber, how I could be arrested. But, you will uh, be arrested if you interfere with anything over there. Uh, yeah. That's not, uh, that's not cool at all. No. no that means... He's on to something that yeah. they don't want no one to know. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. what's it all mean? What does this code mean? Well, what is there, it, what you is said, this? what does it all what mean? It all mean? You mean on here? No, like, what does it all mean? Like, all this, you know, you've been telling okay. them. So, again, like, to me, my interpretation. Like, I don't have, I, I can't spend the rest of the night with you. No, I got it. <laughs> so, again, Kabbalah is a, is a spiritual belief system. It, it's the belief of how God operates and how we can connect with God. My interpretation, if you, if you look at the Kabbalah, there's something called the cliff ball, which is about sorcery and having influence over people. Oh, God, so I, that's the way I see what they're doing. They're trying to control and have influence over society. Do you know what the name of the... If you guys don't know this, Washington, D.C., that land before the feds were there, was owned by a, a powerful Jesuit named Francis Pope. Not to be confused with the first Jesuit Pope, Pope Francis. Huh. It used to be called Rome on the Potomac. Georgetown, the Jesuit University, has been there longer than the federal government. What? So, anyway, I'm just trying to get people to see that, that, I mean, our Constitution says protect ourselves from enemies foreign and domestic, right? What? The they're here. They, you guys know that Washington, D.C. has been an independent city state since 1871? Yeah. Yeah. The name of that act equals 201. I forget what the name is off the top of my head. The name of that act equals 201. Uh, Lincoln. Lincoln gave a speech about the Civil War would have never happened without the sinister influence of the Jesuits. You know the Capitol insurrection of January 6th? Right. 
the only Confederate statue in DC is the Albert Pike statue. That fell June 19th, exactly 201 days before the Confederate flag flew to DC for the symbolism. And do you remember why it fell? It fell because of the George Floyd riots. George Floyd's full name is George Perry Floyd, which equals 201. It was compared to the killing of a David Traore in Paris, France, where the Jesuits right. were from, which was exactly 201 weeks before his death on the 201st day of 2016. Who figured all this out? Who figured? You mean who plans all this or who figured out that all this is happening? Who figured all this is happening? I, I started to look into it after 9-11. Uh, there were two towers that became zero, became one. So you've been all over it since for... Uh, 20 years of research. 20 years. Mm -hmm. What were you before that? A high school student? Just to walk around a high school I was, I was a freshman in college in 9-11. So basically, in a nutshell, yeah, give me he, that. Give he's me telling nutshell. you that this whole reality that we're in is being controlled. No, I believe that. So we need to wake up before we're, we need to wake up before we're all under this tyranny. You see what's going on in China? Yeah, that's going to be America. It's coming here. Yeah, it's right. it, it can come here exactly if you, if you let it. If you let it. If you look at all the faces of what's going on, the, the leader of Canada, Jesuit, Trudeau, just like his father. Yep. Gavin Newsom, Jesuit, huge face of coronavirus. Cuomo, Jesuit. Trump, Jesuit. Biden, Jesuit. You know where Biden's from? Scranton, Pennsylvania, where the hot, you know the hit show The Office on NBC? Yeah. Uh, Do you know how many episodes it ran? Done all. Dear good, man. <laughs> on almost every episode, they show the Jesuit prep flag school from Scranton, where, where Biden went to school. Mm. What's the positive part of this? Huh. Yeah, we well, just, that we know, that we, we know. That we're figuring it out? Did somebody that's figure it, it out? It. Somebody figured it out? That's it. Man, people wake up. Oh, it's a big uphill climb, isn't it? I, I gotta say, be glad you live in this part of the country. People are a lot better down here. It's funny, you didn't see how they won't let you goes up in the air and thinks a place like this is some white trash, and it's just like your city's so much but nicer, what? everything's so but much But white trash better. won't even let you speak down here. Seattle's white trash, I'll tell you that much. That's where I'm from. Yeah, okay. What you got? Yeah, the back. I'm glad we got you. Guys. I'm glad Take you it easy. I'm glad you had your deal. Yeah. Take it easy. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> where, where are y'all from? Dallas. We're up for that. Are you really for center? Huh? No. What's that? I just see the three on there. Oh, no, 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 so this is not... Are you just buddy? We've been following his YouTube channel for many years. So y'all just came up.